And we have the neurologists, neuroanesthesiologists, neurooncologists, neurorehabilitation, everything is that depends on the nerve. And the three Tesla MRI, also we are using the, with that only MRI, like, you know, in radiology, do you say? Yes. Is the, yes. That yes. Only, yes. We are using that in conventional uh, MRI. We are using the perfusion, spectroscopy, and tractography, DTI with DTI, and also planning everything with the MRI. And second patient gets, for example, the glioblastoma, some, something like that. And uh, we give you all of the information to the patient. And also we are using interoperatively uh, neuro navigation. And uh, we, we use the metrotonic. Metro, metrotonic. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we are using the uh, neuromotorization, every case. And spinal and cranial case, we are using routinely. And also third one is the interoperative ultrasonography. And also oh, we are using the neural navigation uh, plus uh, with the uh, very high quality Zeiss microscope and uh, to, uh, you know, is the staining, immune staining also we are using. In the neurovascular uh, surgery like uh, aneurysm or some anterior malformation, we are using the Doppler or also interoperative uh, uh, ICG, you know, is the microscope is the show us the how is the vascular component, is the stenosis or not. Yeah. We, we, we are using the uh, immune staining also. For example, page, uh, microscope gives some opportunity, like uh, uh, we give the intravenously uh, some kind of uh, staining, staining yeah. and then show us like uh, the tumor staining, and then mm -hmm. oh, this is the tumor, this is not the tumor, we can't stay there. And that's all. Uh, it is the our uh, surgical team every time, and, uh, and we have the good uh, intensive unit. Also, patients bed is very well. You can see that. You can show that. But like, uh, uh, another thing in spinal surgery, we are using the OR. OR that means is a new uh, facility for us or for the in the world, and the interoperative CT scan. And just we are using the like uh, the, uh, this morning we have the uh, spinal uh, stabilization case. We are using the CT scan as a 3D. We can see the all screw, all any kind of problem, and then you can correct it immediately. And we are using also arm. Uh, are you using the stereotactic biopsy? As yes, well? exactly. It's yes, exactly. I forgot it. So yes, it's, it's part of the protocol. For example, if the tumor is uh, related to neuroncology, so you do it for each and every case. Or mostly the cases uh, are like with with the radiological images. You can just identify it is fine. Yeah, uh, our radiologist is the neuro radiologist, and then she educate the outside in Italy or some United States somewhere. And we are using especially the uh, spectroscope gap perfusion MRI, so gives the so good, uh, good image. Uh, yeah, image. And but sometimes we can some suspicion. We are using the uh, stereotactic biopsy, but not too much. You know, our center is the almost every case come very difficult case. For example, we cannot see the one centimeter glioblastoma, or almost yeah. with six centimeter or eight centimeter glioblastoma, also schwannoma, something like that. And then generally we prefer the surgery, but sometimes we need the, especially the brain stem tumors, and then we need uh, some cortex biopsy. Uh, do you have uh, our give you, you? Can you just give us idea about the general protocol of uh, these brain stem tumors? What is the general protocol of treatment? You like? know, we saw the uh, we see this the brain stem tumor is so different. You know, uh, especially in pediatric case. And in, in the textbook, also some uh, recently paper, uh, journal paper says that.